averaging more turnovers than assists. So, John, I think you'll agree with me. Those three areas have to change for the Leopards to get their first win. Back to you. All right, Michael, thank you very much. And Lafayette will control the tap. The ball is in the hands of Eric Stafford, and they'll start their motion offense against the man-to-man -man defense. And, Gary, that stat that Mike Joseph threw out category in terms of assist ratio. Baker Dunleavy's father, of course, uh, is coaching in the uh, for Tulane. Did do some playing and coaching in the NBA. His brother, Mike Dunleavy Jr., as inside as Klonuski can't get the first shot. He is playing for the Atlanta Hawks after playing, uh, like having a great career at Duke. The other thing we talked about is a field goal percentage defense. That's right away. There's our right impact player. Yeah, you know, Gary, I started to say about Cameron Young, you mentioned he played a total of eight minutes last year. Baker Dunleavy is in his first year. Sometimes a fresh set of eyes from the coaching staff can make all the difference. Kids kind of get pigeonholed into a certain role or a certain skill set. Clearly, Baker may have seen something in Cameron Young uh, that, that, that others may have missed. Young was a prolific scorer in high school. That shot from the outside trying to tie it up by Palace Jalice does not fall. So Lafayette with a couple of empty possessions. And, boy, if you're going to use a word to describe the loss against Drexel on Wednesday night, mm. it would be empty possessions in the last three and a half minutes. Yeah, Lafayette held an 11-point lead at one point, Gary. And, again, uncharacteristic of a Lafayette coached basketball team to lose that Stevens coming off the bench. Uh, but that wasn't the problem. Uh, they just, as you said, made a couple of untimely mistakes. Yeah, with some of their older players that really had the problems down the stretch. Quickly, it's Jaworski. Nice pass. Jalice, the recipient of that beautiful pass from Jaworski. And the Leopards are on the board. He was a great high school quarterback, and that time he threw a perfect pass <laughs> off the drive, but gives you a, a quick example of his basketball acumen. His IQ made the defense play him, waited to the last moment, dropped it off. Kelly yeah, drops it off down inside, but there's Jalice with the block. He got some help on the play from Lucas Jarrett. Quickly down the floor. Comes Eric Stafford. Jalice open, decides to give up the triple. Konuski, he'll be hounded most of the day by Bundu. That was not a behind the back pass. That was a lost ball on the dribble. Turnover Lafayette. Biggest challenge for Lafayette today, Gary, will be handling this long, athletic, Quinnipiac. 34 games, just none of them against the Lafayette Leopards. The most have been against Lehigh. The other side of that coin, too, though, Gary, is that Quinnipiac is uh, relatively new in terms of uh, Division I basketball. So those Patriot League games have uh, have all been uh, played in a relatively short period. Of Jaworski and Petrie, they are averaging 25 points together. And there will be times when Fran will bring E.J. Stevens off the bench, and you'll have three freshman guards in the game at the same time. Jaworski looking to go, got a screen from Klonuski, couldn't use it. Klonuski gets it where he likes it, back outside, good ball movement. Jalice, that's way off. Yeah, and, and that's, you know, that's got to be a staple of Fran's offense. You cannot complain about that kind of look in this offensive set. That, that shot has to be made. Young with a crossover dribble, pick up shot, doesn't go. Klonuski rebound. So end to end, but nobody's scoring the basket. Jaworski outside, bottom of the hole, Lafayette with their first lead of the game. That's a mistake by Quinnipiac. You do not double down off of your best shooter. And Fran O'Hanlon has said, uh, without hesitation, as good as Alex Petrie has been shooting the ball, Justin Jaworski is probably their best three-point shooter. So Lafayette with their first lead at 5-3, way outside, trying to get the lead right back. Unable to do that is Robinson. And the Leopards with their head up, quickly down the floor in Jaworski. He'll get it back down inside Klinuski. He wants to go, turn around, soft shot doesn't go. Didn't get enough arc on that one. Notice Quinnipiac is essentially a half-court team, Gary. They like to run their stuff and look for a good shot. They're not shy, John. They get no. an open three. They take it. That's the 14th of the year for Isaiah Washington, who knocks them down at 35%. He's a Penn State transfer. He's got a couple of years left at Quinnipiac. It's the St. Peter's 86-82, and to George Mason, they lost 67-65, so they need to turn that around. No better place to start than today. They've got Penn here on Wednesday night. That ball game will be on the Lafayette Sports Network, on RCN, and on the Patriot League Network. The women first at 6 o'clock, as the women's three-game winning streak stopped last night with Drexel, and Lafayette unaware of... Four freshmen on the floor with uh, 
Miles Cherry at the center. And Miles is just a sophomore. And we get a whistle. We're going to go to the other group on the floor. These kids, every one of these freshmen, can score the basketball. Dylan Hastings at 6'6", one of his strengths is the ability to step out and knock down three-point shots. He's got a terrific shot from downtown. Petrie can't hold up to the fact that he probably should have caught that ball. Now, it's not a connected dots kind of offense. It's a read and react, and uh, it, it takes some time. With a basketball, that is number 15, Rich Kelly. He is a freshman. Looking to go, driving inside is Daniels, and wow. there is their leading scorer, Shays Daniels, out of Meridian, Connecticut, 15.4 points a game. That's just a great baseline move, a quick spin and a left-handed finish. Matches the largest lead of the game by the Bobcats. Wide open. That's Dylan automatic. Hastings, bottom of the hole. Yeah, he can tied. do that. He can that's not an aberration. He can do that. That's his fifth of the year. He's knocking him down at 57%. A little bit better now after that shot. Lafayette's offense has to go through the center spot, and that was an example of the inside out. Look at that hook shot. That's Daniels. He can't get it to fall. Daniels is a physical specimen at 6'9". 220 pounds. He is a senior. Looking to go. Nice drive. Nice shot. Jaworski. Boy, that was kind of reminiscent of a Nick Linder layup. Well, the spacing uh, allowed it to happen, Gary. Lafayette really spread the floor, and uh, it was just too much ground to cover for the weak side help. Great recognition by Justin Jaworski getting to the rim. Lafayette man to man. Get it to Daniels. A mismatch here. They get some help. Double team, they'll ping it around. They'll get a shot out of Washington. And that will not fall. And the rebound by Petrie. Good execution. Good, yeah. good defensive movement that time by Lafayette. Exactly, because it was great offensive movement. How about Dylan again? That would have brought the house down a little bit. He doesn't get it to fall. Coming the other way. Leopards by two. Drive by Kelly. We're going to get a foul on the outside. That's been some pretty good backyard games. Boy, Jay Wright that. really spoke highly of, this, of that young man as an assistant coach. Turnover. Go the other way, quickly down the floor. Lafayette, no advantage. They'll slow it down. Second turnover by the Bobcats. Hastings inside. Dylan in a bit of a mismatch against Robinson. Gives it up. And there's EJ. He can't get it to fall. Rebound controlled by Robinson. Cameron Young, young at 6'6". Six, six, Gary, here are the guard skills we talked about. Try to go inside to Daniels. We get a body block. Knows of my affliction with the Cleveland Browns. Addiction, I think, is the word. Well, saw the, well, both. Uh, saw the satellite dish on the ground, and he t took a picture of it and texted me. They say it isn't so. You haven't given up. <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> no, it's going back up by Sunday. Outside, EJ Stevens thought about it. He'll take it to the hole, put it up. Won't drop. He'll get the follow. Won't drop. He got his own follow-up. Oh, right. Emperor on his own rebound and mm. could not get that one high enough on the glass. So we're sitting on 10-8 for a bit. Jump shot Robinson, and he gets the rattle around, won't fall. Down the lane, Jalice doesn't get it to go. He's fouled. Uh, Lafayette doesn't have a lot of guys. Matt Klinowski and Paula Jalice are probably the two most physical players on the roster. Lafayette now with the largest lead that they've held in the ball game at the 11.56 mark. Drive, that throw up, that won't go. We get a foul here. Plus the top two returning scorers, they decided to go elsewhere. They were both freshmen. Uh, so uh, Baker had to even deal with that in his rebuilding. Yeah, not, not unusual, but uh, he's got some talented kids here. There's no question about it. Oh, my age advantage, disadvantage. Had that ball gone in or, or or resulted in Lafayette picking it up I could see that so the foul was called on the charge against Kyle Stout inside we're all tied up that's Too Aaron easy. Robinson he creates the second tie of the ball game again another their ability Gary to beat you off the dribble and get to the rim four quick buckets here by Quinnipiac Elise is going to get grabbed Jaworski with a basketball Stafford gets it back to Jaworski. Ooh, they missed Klonuski. He was wide open, a little bounce pass. He had a layup. And instead, he'll get a three. He's been hitting them. Not this time. Good play by Stafford to create that off the dribble, Gary. He threw the defense to him. And you mentioned klonuski has been shooting threes at about a 65% rate. He takes them selectively, but he's been good at it. That's going to be a blocking foul. You don't see Fran, the officials, too much, at least 
overtly. Oh, that's a great play. Foul on uh, Eric Stafford. And uh, now we're going to get a foul here on Sassra. So Lafayette comes out of it down one. Ragoni's out of Australia. Adelaide, Australia, averages three points a game. He's a 6'6 six, six freshman. Lafayette down by one. Now we get another whistle. Holding Klonuski. So hopefully they can get back to business as usual now. And Klonuski wants the drive. He has, drops it in. So tough around the rim. So it took a while for Matt to get on the board. Almost half of the first half. He puts it up and in, and Lafayette back on top by one. And that is unusual because he is usually very, very involved in the offense. That one's off the keister. That was just well, yep. square in the, on the backside. Kelly, he walked. Both teams, both coaches would probably be pleased with the defensive effort so far, not so much with the offense. Stevens, Miles Cherry, and he walked. The Bobcats at 13.6 per game. When a pack can get up on you, they can press you, they can force you into those kind of the kinds of travels and extra passes that create problems. Young drives up. No, not. Oh yes, I didn't think he got that high enough wow. on the glass. Jab, step, crossover, fundamental basketball. Boy, he's a tough matchup at 6'6". And Klonuski halfway down, wouldn't fall. Matt thought he had that one. Matt with one foul. He's got to be a little careful inside. And he does a nice job, but a better job done by Ragoni. How about Ragoni uh, from down under? And I don't mean the shot he took. I meant where he's from. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both, actually. It was a good shot, mate. I. <laughs> no, they don't say I, do they? What is it? Might. I think might. There's a foul. That'll be on Ragoni. He is a graduate. Had a year of eligibility. Decided to play another year of basketball. Going to graduate school. Four rookies and Matt Klanuski. See how this combination works out. Graham would like to keep that for next year, but he can't. Matt Amen. will graduate. Amen to that. Six to shoot. He knows it. Step back for three. Nope. Hits back of the iron. Doesn't go. And the rebound, and eventually controlled by Chiga. Lafayette has been holding its own on the boards, Gary. Last count was 8-7. It's a little different now, but it's one reason why they're hanging in there. Both of these teams struggle a little bit on the board. Lafayette, it's a seven-rebound difference in the negative. And for the Bobcats, it is a five-point negative difference. Stevens, 14 feet away, knocks it down. E.J. Stevens will find a way to score, Gary. 6-3, maybe closer to 6-4. But uh, he brings a different element to this basketball team in terms of his offense. 17-16, Leopards down one. John Sabino doing our directing this afternoon on the Lafayette Sports Network, Patriot League Network. Uh, that that uh, these two coaches, the way they, the way they, the way they teach offense, uh, a lot of great movement and... Uh, when you practice against it all day, uh, every day, throughout the season, uh, you're not as apt to be caught by surprise by some of the, the great movement. Stevens, pull up jump shot, wide open. That was not a good defensive play at all by Shays Daniel. He will not like watching that one on tape. Well, the, the screen forced the switch, and uh, two guys ended up guarding the uh, post player. Great recognition by EJ. Stevens to uh, pull up and hit that jump shot. Over in the corner, pull up jumper by Young. That doesn't go. It's all white shirts for the rebound. Klonuski ends up with it. Quick outlet to Lucas Jarrett. Petrie open. Petrie will give the ball up. EJ has it. EJ looking. They want to get it to Klonuski. And ball knocked out of bounds. It will be six lead changes. Nobody's led by more than three points. Stevens gets it back. Petrie with Kelly on him. Wanuski wants to go. And he stops smartly by Robinson. Pull up jumper Stevens. Oh my. <laughs> EJ from deep into the corner for three. His first triple as a Lafayette Leopard. Now, though, there's more where that came from. I mean, that was uh, 
That was just a great play. Klinowski recognized and really set him up nice with a little dribble handoff. Jump shot. Does not fall. That one taken by Isaiah Washington. That reminded me of the Ellen Graham shot uh, that ended up beating Cornell 59-58 on Wednesday. As she had a desperate last, well, not a last second shot. There were seven seconds left. Now, yeah, but it was a winner. It was a winner. Kelly has it blocked. Smart play inside by Jarrett. Petrie way outside. That doesn't fall. Rare to see him miss a cup. Possession. Alex Petrie pulled up from about 22 feet, Gary, and Fran wants to let him go a little bit because uh, he is just that explosive, and he can make that shot. That one is taken from the outside. That bit of a wild shot by Young. Petrie can't get the handle, gets rid of it. That was a good contest on that last shot by E.J. Stevens. E.J. was open. Kyle's open. That yeah, will not go. He has really struggled with his shot. Eight. Kyle now under 20% from beyond the arc. Turnover. Go the other way. Quickly down the floor. Nice pass. Petrie up and oh, I thought maybe he might get it. Continues to stay perfect from the foul line. Leopards with the largest lead. The guys that uh, they know good basketball when they see it, and uh, their teams reflect that. Robinson just missed his first foul shot of the year. He had been 3-4-3. Three, three. Petrie almost stolen away. Go to Husk. Got to create better spacing on the offensive end. Klonowski drops it off to Stevens. Under seven now on the shot clock. Petrie looks at it, makes his move. He's got to put it up. I was going to say, there's a shot coming here. <laughs> he had to shoot the basketball. There's no secret anymore on Alex Petrie. The word is out. So teams are going to start crowding him. That's not entirely a bad thing if you're a Lafayette fan because I've seen him off the dribble. And sometimes he can do more damage off the dribble than he can standing still and shooting threes. Daniels, he wants to go. He doesn't want to give the ball up. Backs in. Up and in. Good one-on-one -on -one move. Yeah. You can see you. it in his eyes, John. Yeah, he wanted that ball, and he did a good job with his back to the basket. Lafayette's going to take a timeout here. With the basketball, EJ. And we get a whistle. Team right now shooting 71%, so that number's been going up. And the Leopards again up by five, which again is matches their largest lead. Jalice went to the bench midway through this first half with a couple of fouls. He has not returned. That long outside shot, Daniels with a rebound. Daniels wants to go, and he'll put it up. It will not go. Foul on my Leopards by four. Petrie, Klonowski, EJ, Stevens puts it up. Oh, that looked good yeah. off his hand. He's feeling it. You can tell, Gary, that was great offense and a good look by the Lafayette Leopards. EJ Stevens kind of getting the offense. Ragoni for three. So Jake Ragoni, the freshman from Australia, gets his sixth triple of the season. He came in hitting five out of ten. And I think that was his first three, so he's six for 11. It's one of those great kind of bench players, Gary, you know, brings a different element, stretches the defense a little bit. There goes Matt, drives inside, no, can't get it, a little body contact there. In fact, Daniels is shaken up a little bit. He took a shot right in the nose, I believe. Kelly drives. Oh, we're going to get a foul call. Up back and say if we could have done this or could have done that. So you, know, you play every possession at this level, at Division One anymore, with all of the parity and all the good players there are. The margin for error becomes slimmer and slimmer. Lafayette has lost the five-point lead they had. They're down by one. That was intended for Lucas Jarrett just a little too high. I think it was Jarrett. It might have been Jarrett. It was. And uh, Kelly again. 
This time they'll ping it around. There's that guy from the outside. He's knocked down another one, Ragoni. It starts with the dribble penetration and then the pass that leads to the pass. And that's what good basketball teams do. We've seen it all the, uh, regularly from Lafayette. And that time, Quinnipiac. Same recipe. Bobcats with their largest lead of the game. They're up by four. Driving, Jarrett, off, no. Good move, couldn't get it into the square. Rago oh, he was thinking about it. Ragoni was thinking about knocking down another three. Is Ragoni an Italian name? It is, right? Yeah, I believe well, Leone, Leone yeah. Ragoni. I didn't know my folks charge. And uh, just what you'd want in a point guard. He's steady. Don't turn it over too much. 38 assists coming in. 9.9 .9 points a game. Those are good numbers. Five-point deficit for Lafayette. So it's been a 10-point turnaround in the last couple of minutes. Another tough pass to handle. A line. As we've got 58 ticks on the clock. We've got highlights, stats, and Mike Joseph interview at halftime. Robinson way outside. That won't go. Banging for the rebound. Klinowski ends up with it. Good job by Matt in traffic. And a good defensive sequence by the Leopards. They lost Rigoni for a moment. He missed one. That's Matt's fifth, uh, fifth rebound of the game. They've got him. Shot clock is off. 23 seconds to go. And the Bobcats probably want to try to take the last shot here. They're up by one. Kelly with the ball in his hands. He'll probably get it down to 10 before he makes his move. Here we go. They get it to Daniels. And Daniels dribbles off his foot. Robinson gets it back. They got a little lucky there. Kelly. There's a pretty nice crossover dribble, and it won't go. Klinuski. It has Stafford, Stevens, Klinuski, Stout, and Hastings. That's a rather unique mixture that we have not seen much of this season as you get a look at Kelly who has the basketball 34 Boondu is in there along with uh, Washington along with Ching Chiga and there's a shot outside from Washington that won't go back of iron we get a body on the f sad eyes to the official uh-uh Cameron Good. Young the fifth starter on the floor for the Bobcats couldn't sell it <laughs> So Lafayette with a chance to take the lead here, get it back. Jalice is in the ball game as yeah, he said a lot in the first half. Nice move by Jaworski. Lafayette on top by one. When you can shoot the basketball, Gary, it makes you twice as quick as you really are. You get a quicker, taller defender off his feet. Easy shot for Jaworski. He got picked off there, and uh, Jaworski now is on Chiga. Let's see if they find him. That's a mismatch. They got to get it reversed first. They do. Chiga now is picked up by Stafford. And we're going to get a foul. Quickly comes in off the bench. And Petrie is headed for the scorer's table. That shot doesn't drop, taken by Robinson. out. Klonuski. Matt with just one field goal. One of those nights or yeah. days he can't seem to buy the kind of shots that normally drop. They're going to lose the basketball. Turnover. By Matt Klonuski is a shot we've seen him make time and time again. But again, you, you can't you can't overstate the quickness and the length of uh, Quinnipiac. They contest everything. Jaworski for three. Knocks it down. <laughs> Jaworski with ten and a couple of triples. The Young Leopards, I'll tell you what, Gary, they're explosive. They're also confident. They play with a lot of oh, confidence. That, really, their, their demeanor really belies their year. So there's no question about that. Right now, Lafayette's defense is... That's a nice drive by Young, but he can't finish. Here come the Leopards. It's a five on four. Young trying to get back. There goes Klonowski. He'll get hammered. He's getting a Leopard. Matt Klinuski getting it done from the foul line. Lafayette with their largest lead of the basketball game, up by six. Shays Daniels back in. He has been a tough match for Lafayette. 
Well, he gives it up to Kelly. Kelly for three. That doesn't go. Kelly had a wide open shot. And that is going to keep that ball alive. And the call goes to Leopard's way. Jalees. Petrie. Oh, my. Dinged up. He's dinged up. He tries to show nothing. Looks okay. Petrie. Daniels switches on to him. Klonowski for three. Go ahead, Two Matt. to hit one. Go and ahead. he does. His 16th of the year. Okay, First of the ball game. I, I just, Baker Dunley is going to get a timeout, Gary. Really. Washington immediately gets it to Kelly. And Lafayette changing their D a little bit. A little more pressure. Easily broken, but it took him 11 seconds off the shot clock to do it. Well, sometimes you're pressing Gary not necessarily to steal the ball, but to kind of change the tempo. And uh, all of a sudden, when they get the ball down, now Quinnipiac's got 11 seconds to get a shot off. Down to five. Robinson drive. Good job, Jalees, but the follow there by Daniels. To put it up and in, Daniels with nine. That's a good play by Daniels to not give up on it. Good defense by Jalees to get the block, but... Again, good persistence and good awareness. So that's the first second half couple of points put up. Jalees out of the corner, and that's an air ball. Daniels. Oh, I thought he might want to go right at Matt Klonuski there. He decides not to do it. Daniels again. Oh, he lowered his shoulder. Oh, nice job. Steal by Jaworski. He's all over the place. They got, they got mad inside if they want them. Great pass. Up Great and pass. In. And that'll count. Watch it, this delivery, Gary. I'm sorry. I think, because he just said who. Who? Uh, <laughs> who? Here's that one, two, two, half, uh, three-quarter court press. And uh, a foul. Not a good foul right out of the realm of possibility that you can zone press back to man-to-man. -to -man. Let's see what Lafayette's doing in the half court. Way outside. That three down. Oh, look at that rebound. And that was all caused by Daniels. The shot was made by Washington, but Chase Daniels went and got that rebound. Yeah, you don't have to get the rebound all the time, Gary, but if you compete and can shake it loose, very often it gives your teammate an extra, an extra shot at the basketball, and that time it happened. Stevens. Petrie. Petrie's open, gets it down inside. One-on-one. -on -one. Matt's looking to go against Daniels. He'll get fouled. They can't get crushed on the boards. They're not. They're holding their own with Quinnipiac, and uh, the result is they're up 10. And again, they put a little bit of three-quarter court pressure and drop quickly into a man-to-man. -man. Look, that's a walk. Yeah, Washington, he was... When he got the basketball, the shot was gone. The shot opportunity was gone. John, that's the third turnover by the Bobcats. Lafayette has not turned the ball over in the second half. Third turnover in the, in the half. And there is a Klonowski mid-range jumper. He now has 20 points. Yeah, you know, Gary, he can just beat you so many different ways. Driving. And dropping off a tough pass. Ragoni really nowhere to go for uh, Vundu. Young outside, Young puts it up, no. Nope. And the ball is loose and inside up and in. Nice hustle work by Boondu. Wow, that was all Boondu. I'm telling you, Gary, you talk about individual effort. Wow, much needed bucket to keep it within 10 for Quinnipiac. Stevens, Jaworski. Are they gonna foul here? Neither one had an answer. So uh, that was a real unforced error because uh, Miles wasn't all that involved in the play. No, not at all. It could be that the referees just want to keep it clean on the inside, but play him. Ragoni not this time. Long shot, long rebound. Hundu came up with it. Ragoni again. Ragoni, well, he has it blocked by Klonowski. Good defense against the freshman. Good job by Matt. We've seen Lafayette play some of the best defense they've played all year long, Gary, against a, a, a pretty talented Quinnipiac basketball team.
Klanuski, again, he gets that first step. It's all he needs. Seems to be a little bit more aggressive against, uh, a little bit more aggressive against Boondu, Boondu than he did against Daniels. Daniels, of course, a little taller, but boy, Matt recognized it, took it right to the rim. 14 second half points, and we haven't played half of the second half. Young, a lot of dribbling, nowhere to go. Well, and again, running into a lot of long arms. There goes Young again. Step back, down inside, no. Good defense. Was it Stevens or Klonuski that knocked that ball away? Down inside, Miles Cherry, up and in. Great pass from Jaworski. Yeah, Quinnipiac's going to get a timeout, Gary. This is just an inspired effort by Lafayette. Quinnipiac press on here as Quinnipiac brings the ball down the floor. It's a 1-2-2. One, two, two. And then they fall back into a man-to-man. -man. And this time they take about eight seconds off the clock. And that's going to build that. A little bit of a bobble by Washington. And what do we have here? They're really calling it close on the interior. Uh, they just will not let you put an arm bar on anybody on the back. Well, an arm bar is one thing, yeah. but they're, they're, well, it's going both ways, I guess. Shays gets double teamed. Robinson. Offense defense has held Quinnipiac to 32% shooting. Daniels can't go. Good defense by Cherry that time. Rebound inside by Young, and he's going to get fouled. Oh, Quinnipiac's going to put a little pressure on Gary. Lafayette really drills this in practice. And no sooner do he calm down. This is what hurt the Leopards against Drexel. They got a big lead, and then they just had bad possessions. That was a bad, that's a walk. Turnover number 10 by 6'9", with a wingspan about 8 feet. Now that's the way you break the press. Keep spacing. Oh, that was a foul. Got away with one there, and it's going to cause a turnover. Kelly with a little layup. That time he hit the arm, and no call. It's a zone press, so you got to have someone in the middle. Got to have a man on the sideline. Another steal. Watch on out. the move. Robinson. Boom. Now Lafayette needs a timeout. I'm very surprised, Gary. All right, Fran calls a timeout to talk about breaking this press. They're not handling it very well at the moment. They get it across midcourt, 20 seconds on the clock. Klonuski gives it up. Matt with the ball, hounded by Young. Down the paint, and no, foul. It's going to stay in their press. Hopefully keep Quinnipiac's offense out of sync because Gary they've not done it with their half court offense no they've done it with steals of late and offensive rebounding Lafayette does go back from the zone press back to a man to man we thought maybe they went from that one two two back to a zone but they're staying man in the half court Chase gives it up to Kelly five on the shot clock Kelly step back that doesn't go Daniels that's an easy rebound for him can't blame anybody and what do we have? We're going to get a bounce. bounce. Yeah. Wow. wow. Dan just got up, though. Inside Klonuski. He gets banged around a little bit. Klonuski down the paint, drops it off. Stafford, EJ for three. Yes, big bucket. Big bucket by EJ Stevens, his second triple of the ball game. Stops the bleeding and really gives Lafayette a huge lead. The lead is back to uh, back to 12, Gary. That's a big play right there. Driving Young, gets rid of it to Robinson. He'll knock it down and match that triple. Things heating up a little bit. You wonder, you know, both teams kind of go into a little bit of a press. And that kind of maybe loosening things up in the half court just a little bit. Robinson is their leading three-point shooter. That's his first of the game. Yeah, he's been quiet. Back his first points of the game. Lafayette by nine. EJ will get fouled on the play. It'll be again. Fighting his time, and all of a sudden, when he got his chance, boy, he took a hold of it and made the most of it for sure. Well, we knew coming in he was a good athlete, and he's getting much more comfortable with the offense, comfortable with the defense. 
why he didn't start. The proverbial coach's decision. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, five-second violation. Turnover Lafayette. Robinson off the screen. He'll put up a three. That's not going to. Yes, it will. That's going to. Ball game. Seven points. So the Leopard 14-point lead just a few minutes ago has been cut in half. Uh-oh. And that'll be a foul on. And, and I'm not so sure that Eric Stafford should have been off the plane of that pass a little bit, but there's got to be more pace on these passes against this tough defense. Oh, the Leopards didn't pay the price. Foul shot was missed. I think Eric made a mental mistake there. You should stay behind the man with the guy ball. with the ball. Exactly. He was in front of him, and that was really part of the problem. Jaworski down the paint. Jaworski up and in. Oh, my, what a move by Justin Jaworski. Boy, he finds a way, doesn't he, Gary? He's a terrific athlete. I mean, he got to the rim so quickly, and there was virtually no room for the defender to block that shot. Leopards by nine. Jaworski now with 12 points. That's Robinson. Down inside, we're gonna get a foul. This will be number five, I believe, on Eric Stafford. The key thing that has kept Quinnipiac somewhat close, and there's another one. Boondu misses, but Andrew Robinson with a rebound. And they get the ball right back anyway. They're just 10, 11 for 18 from the foul line. That shot up and in by Young. How important are offensive rebounds? There you go. Lafayette with a nine-point lead, now it's seven. If they get that rebound, they have a chance to get it to 11 with this possession. 58-51. Winooski, he stopped. Oh, oh nice, great back pass. cut. Back cut by E.J. Stevens from Klonowski. Pretty game when it's played right, boy, I'll tell you what. That's a nice play and a big bucket for the Leopards. I love the reaction by the freshman. He knew exactly when to go down the paint. Yep. And Matt, he expected him to go down the paint. Washington, drive up. That's a nice move, too. Isaiah Washington has seven points. So the Leopards can't create more space here. They're up by seven. Wanuski settles everything down. And now they'll run the offense. 10 seconds on the clock. They gotta realize it. Jaworski does, puts it up and in. Oh my! He put a little spin on that baby. Yeah, a little English there, a little curveball. I thought it was a quarterback, not a pitcher. I think it had slider written all over it. The English on that ball hit clearly outside that square and squirreled its way in. Big bucket by the freshman. He's got 14. Under six to go. Drop down. Looking to go. That's Boondu out to Chiga. Chiga puts it up. No. Rebound, Jalice. Oh, look like down inside. They kind of let him play the, through that. And Boondu puts it up and in. Another offensive putback, Gary. But maybe there was a foul over the top yeah, that time. You. Way outside. Petrie's due. He won't get it. That's Jalice it. almost came up with a rebound. Good job. Good job to contest, Gary. Almost got it to go back in, but that's a good look by Petrie. He normally knocks that one down. They needed it. Petrie today 0 for 4. All of those from beyond the arc. So the Leopards empty. A seven-point lead. Oh, good block, Stevens. EJ got his hand on the ball. His driving down was Robinson. Three freshman guards, Gary. And, uh, boy, you talk about grow-up time. This is, uh, boy, experience is the toughest teacher because it gives you the, the test first and the lesson later. You get a foul here as you by nine. But trust me, this team hungry for a win. Every possession is critical at this point. Kalnuski leading all scorers with 22, Jaworski 14, and Stevens with 14 for Lafayette. You gotta find Rigoni on the perimeter. 
for Daniels. Winnipeg staying with a the press. They're a little confused on it. Lafayette's got numbers. That's a pretty good stop. Put yeah. the brakes on. Yeah, they got that quickly. He's such a good athlete, Kerry. Wachiga couldn't stop nearly as quickly. Stevens. <laughs> He's double teamed. They're all over the place now. And the ball still loose, still loose, still loose. Lafayette basketball. Off of Robinson. Almost off of Leon. I was ready. I was open. They, they, their skill set fits nicely into what Fran O'Hanlon wants to do offensively. Going to be fun to watch. Big possession here. Eight to shoot. Keep an eye on the shot clock. Alex has it. Alex looking to, to go. Somebody's got to put it up. He will. And it does hit the rim. They got away with a shot, but it doesn't fall. Leopards by seven. Way, way outside. Back of iron. No. EJ will get to it. Oh, what a great play. By we can shoot. You watch Alex Petrie shoot the ball, and you kind of want to change it, but don't because it yeah. does go in. He breaks all the rules, but, man, it goes in. Leverage by eight. Halewski pops out. Good defensive play. Kyle Stout now pops out. Here goes Daniels. He wants to go against Klonowski. Does, doesn't go. Well, you always wonder, if yeah. you're a shooter, how that shot stays out. Well, Matt Klonowski did, did a good job of not fouling and just staying between Daniels and the, look at that, fake handoff. Oh my, Klonuska went right around Daniels. That's just a product of the system, Gary. You know, you dribble at that guy and you hand it off and hand it off and at a key point in the game, you don't hand it off and you just keep going and it's a wide open layup. Matt with 24. Oh, that's a nice pass. That's in my job, it's always Central Jersey. Central Connecticut. Jaworski, Stevens, here comes the pressure. Alex, it's lost. <laughs> and the Lafayette fans say, just throw him out of the game. That doesn't sure, happen very often. Yeah. <laughs> make it simple. You're yeah. making it hard on yourself. <laughs> that's right. Double team, watch out. Seven on the shot clock. Jaworski, nice inside. He'll get fouled. Grabbing and it can hold on here, Gary. This uh, will have proven to be a terrific teaching moment because Quinnipiac has really played great defense. They're quick, they're long, and Lafayette has handled this stretch run primarily with a lot of freshmen. Find him. And that one doesn't go for Ragoni. Yes, so He's been real. Quiet as Jaworski gets the rebound. Now I got to he forces me to check his rebounds on the day. So 25 of their 71 points. A little token come pressure. From the line. I'm sorry, Gary. A little token pressure here just to make Quinnipiac use up some clock. Don't give up anything easy. Drive up and no. Good rebound, Jalise. Comes out of the pack, head up. Gets across midcourt, gets double teamed. Jaworski. No hurry now. Pinging it around. EJ. Oh, my. Uh -huh. EJ Stevens. 18 points, his third triple. Great ball movement that time, Gary, and the freshman makes him pay at the end. This has been a great win for the Leopards. Of course, we don't want to count our chickens too soon, but it would be take a miracle at this point for, uh, for Quinnipiac. Jays can't get it to fall. Jalice with another rebound. No hurry. 60 seconds to go. Leopards looking for their first win. And an appreciative crowd as a fired up senior. What a good leader he is. He will sit down. I doubt if we'll see him again. 26 points this afternoon. Boy, it's hard to believe you look up at that scoreboard. They're up 18. Hey, that was a good rebound by Cal Reichwein. Well, I tell you, he's a young man who's battled injuries since he's been on campus, and you can tell he's hobbled a little bit, but kid that just works hard, loves the game, shows up every day. It's good to see him get some, some floor time. Cal out of Doylestown. I was in Philadelphia yesterday to do a football game last night, and some of the people down there were asking me about Cal Reichwein. They said he was a really good basketball player. I said, well, oh, my, there is Jaworski from downtown. That's his third triple. How about these freshmen today? 
Jaworski with 19, E.J. Stevens with 18. Yeah, and our, our marquee player was Alex Petrie. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, congratulations to the left.